Mm-hmm. Oh. Lars and Ronaldo in one episode. That is actually my literal definition of hell. And, you know, I'm thinking to myself, Horror Club? Well, that sounds like fun. Even at the beginning, I'm like, well, this ought to be fun. And then it's like, come on, Lars, we're going to Ronaldo's. I'm like... Oh, no. No, 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 please, no. And then I'm thinking... Oh, know, yes, that happened. It's like, okay, it's it's Horror Club. It's called Horror Club. Like, it's... G -g -g give it a chance. There's gotta be... No, it turns good. out it was actually about delving deeper into Lars and Ronaldo's psyche, their tortured, broken childhood past. And, uh... Yeah. It was just as insufferable to watch them as little children than it was as adults. It was difficult to watch. I am just like, God, and I'm like so ready to give it a chance. Like just, come on, you know, like Pacifica in Gravity Falls. That character was getting really annoying, but then they made her really interesting to a point where it's like, oh, like her and Dipper, wouldn't that be interesting? And it's just well, like, the these two, I just it can't didn't reveal much except for the fact that, okay, Lars is a poser who only cares about what other people think. Ronaldo is only really about getting proof of the existence of something or other, being rich and famous or something. Both are so it. unlikable. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, this This really didn't make either way. I was like, okay, well, now we see them as kids. Maybe this will make them endearing. I'm like, wow, that didn't make them really endearing at all. I was just like, we're right back where we started. Yeah, I, I just don't feel anything that's like opened up that's like, oh, well, now I understand them a bit better. I like them a bit more. He throws him at the monster. He's got a murder streak because he nearly killed Steven. How am I supposed to like episode? this dude? Um, I... <laughs> I just... <laughs> Give us back the innocent Sadie. Take Lars. I'm like... It's amazing how unlikable wow. these two are. I mean, wow. I mean you're, like... you're pretty fucking insufferable, but if there were a monster in the house, I... Man, that's cold. <laughs> so, I'd, so I'd at least, I'd at least, cold. I'd at least think about it first before I chuck your body into its gaping. I would maw. at least give like the lower half of you. So, yeah, you know, I, we would, we would work out a system. Yeah, like you know, but I, it's it, like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, that's low, man. That's low. <laughs> just this whole, you know. I, okay, let, let, I'll point out a few good things. Um. The idea of the gem being in the house and the house being alive and that sort of being the ghost, like, that's kind of neat. The color scheme in this one I really liked. The whole thing felt like a glow-in-the-dark episode. It had a Halloween episode kind of feel yeah. to it, and even, which was fun. Even, like, some of the things with, like, the scarecrows coming through the door and stuff, I was kind of thinking, like, oh, this would actually be kind of a scary episode for little kids, which I like. You know, I, I want kids to be scared. I like, uh, I like the location again of the kind of Bioshock infinite lighthouse sitting there on yeah. the cliff. Um, and I, I like the opening up of the red through all that green. You know, usually we kind of get one color scheme through an episode, but that, that red was really, you know, blaring and nice. Um, and the yeah, design well, of that monster was kind of neat. And I was legitimately going like, well, what's going on? Because I'm seeing Lars written on the thing, you know, and that was cleverly explained. Yeah, um, plot, plot wise? Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just I feel bad because you get the idea okay I feel like maybe what George Lucas was thinking when he like filmed this whole movie with Jar Jar Binks in it thinking like this is going to be a big hit character and get all the toys ready and let's give him his own Saturday morning cartoon show and stuff or something and it's like ooh not really it's like but he had a movie and then as the movies went on, he made less and less. Like, they have, like, a whole season done where they probably thought this guy was going to be really funny and really enjoyable. And it's just, like, you feel like they're kind of stuck with it. <laughs> like, I, oh, shit. Like, can you see, like, just, like, if, like, whatever people are commenting or reacting. I mean, comments are always crazy anyway. But, like, because I found out, like, it gets a lot of people are like, no, nobody likes Ronaldo, really. He and is like Stan, Stan, uh, Stannis the Fanless on uh, freaking Game of Thrones or something. He's like, nobody likes this guy. <laughs> like, nobody. Oh. I, I just, you know, I, it, it's almost like this episode was self-aware. Like, they were aware that, oh, man, this character isn't going over well. Well, let's make him even more likable. Let's just fuck with the audience now. Yeah, let's <laughs> just take two of the most unlikable it, characters, it, it, put them together, yeah. and... In no way make them more likable. If anything, make them more unlikable. That was like a nexus of obnoxiousness. <laughs> uh, that, that opened a hole in the space-time continuum of obnoxiousness. 
So, I'm so sorry. We just don't like those two. <laughs> um, I mean, uh, all the other episodes I could, have I could, been interesting I could or good, barely, but it's like, man. <laughs> I can just scrape by dealing with Lars. Yeah. I cannot deal with Ronaldo. And now you throw And now together. you throw both of them together. Then when I when did. um when she disappears into the hole and it's only you know Steven with the two of them I'm just like no 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 I can't I can't please god bring him back bring him back <laughs> bring her back you know just somebody that's not these two um so yeah I'm sorry we just I just can't get into those two, especially it, Leonardo. He it was Ronaldo, a very, it was the a, there was a very Jurassic Park moment, I think near the end where I was just like, um, Hammond from Jurassic Park, just sitting there like when he's staring at Malcolm because I was just watching. I was just like, I really hate those two. <laughs> <laughs> I really hate that man. And every time you see her like look at Lars, like oh. Well, maybe I'm like, no, goddamn it, no! There uh, was supposed to be an interesting plot in this episode. <gasps> Hello, <laughs> really so, hate those um, guys. <laughs> yeah, sorry, just just not not winning us over still. Um, I don't know if that episode I, will ever come. <laughs> watch, it'll be it, it'll be like fucking Longbottom or something out of Harry Potter. Like at the very end of this whole series, it'll be Lars. You know, it was all about him. He fucking <laughs> saved the day. And it was really all about them. <laughs> he was the other savior. <laughs> so, um, yeah, then they reveal this incredible backstory that actually makes them like, you know, unbelievably likable or something. But uh, uh, no, I'm, I'm not I'm, holding my breath. <laughs> I'm sorry. Literally, Ronaldo could be fucking Mother Teresa. And I still will. Like he could he could save starving children. I'd be like, no, I can't. I just <laughs> Well, have you ever talked with Mother Teresa? She's pretty insufferable to talk to. I I hear she was quite a miserable human being. I hear, like, you know, she's usually very quiet and didn't talk much and mostly just stood in this... And not stood, laid down always in this... Praying. Yeah, like, always laid down to in this box. God. Just this box, like, under the ground and stuff. Doesn't even bother to come up and say hi. I mean, it's very rude. Um... But yeah, we were raised Roman Catholic. <laughs> <laughs> See, we can get away with this because we were raised in the tradition. I'm sure that's what all the Roman Some Catholics Baptists out there are saying. Start right saying now. that, I pound their face in like <laughs> Jesus taught me. <laughs> I, wow, we're, that's what this episode yeah. does. That's what those two do. They bring out the worst. So making uh, fun of Mother Teresa. That is what Ronaldo brought. <laughs> so yeah. Sorry, could to get into it. I, I can at least say there's now two episodes I don't like. <laughs> and they both are for the same reason. Um, but, yeah. Uh, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Hopefully the next one uh, doesn't star any of them. Uh, what is it? Winter Forecast starring Renardo and Lars clone each other. Now there's millions of them. Oh! The forecast is for misery. <laughs> <laughs>